Rene. What a fabulous story. Really enjoyed it. Really brought to life before our eyes, I think, the story of Banana Land and the people there and what they did. I think your opening, your introduction was really clever and really well done. The idea was all closing our eyes, pretending to remember what it was like when we were six or seven and your mother or father or some relation said, come here, I'll tell you a story. Sit down there. You drift off into Banana Land or some equivalent. And I thought you, you started really, really well. I thought that was excellent. And you had a lot of the traditional points that you would expect to get from a folk tale. Once upon a time, wish upon a star, the good king. I think all of that helped to bring the story together and that we all could identify with it and, and, and listen to it as a folk story, not as just some random tale that was made up. I think that was excellent. From a Toastmaster's point of view, you used your triads. He played and he played and he played. And a hard heart and things like that. Not a triad, but a nice alliteration. As I've said, I think that the hook at the start was very good. Your vocal variety, as always, was excellent. You started nice and quiet. We were all there with our eyes closed. Once upon a time. And then later on, there were harsh bits. As I said, the bit about the, the hard heart after the king died. Very well done, very well uh, blended from one mood into another, from one type of speech into another. You're required in this to, to use imagery. And I think that we can all still see in our mind's eye the fish hopping into the pan, Albion going off up onto Orion. And the use of pause, the sad news, the sigh. I think that was all excellent. I thought it was a really, really good speech. And for those of you that are new here tonight, our guests, every speech has objectives. And I need to look at the objectives for Renee's speech and not just talk about what she did. And she was to use voice and imagery, and I've talked about that, and excellent. You were not to act it out. I think you did that reasonably well. Didn't get over, obviously you have a theatrical background, but you didn't overact it. You needed to be entertaining. I think it was entertaining. And it needed to suit the audience level, and I think you set that by your opening. Suggestions. Very, very difficult to make suggestions for an experienced speaker like this. But it is important that everybody realise that when you evaluate, you're giving your own opinion. So it doesn't matter if the speaker is three years or three months ahead of you. It's your opinion. My only comment, and it's very small, very nitpicking, will be maybe because it's storytelling, try and scene set a bit more. You know, maybe you should sit down for one, for one speech and kind of gather people around. At uh, the risk of people getting arthritis, I'd say sit on the floor and listen to the story, you know, dim the light. Some, some kind of scene setting would be the only comment I'd make. Overall, excellent as always. Used all the skills as Edwin mentioned. You pulled together all, everything, the, all the lessons through 10, ten uh, speeches up to now. So, what more can I say? Excellent speech. Looking forward to the next one. Glad I didn't have to vituperate. <laughs>